man, I would have sworn to you that Malcolm Turner was going to be the athletic director of the future down at Vanderbilt. Until he wasn't. Hi, everybody. It's Marky e. Bilson. Uh, recently, Malcolm Turner, who went from being the president of the G League to athletic director of Vanderbilt, resigned. Uh, he lasted one year as the Commodore's athletic director. He hired Jerry Stackhouse, which I think showed a little bit of his professional back, uh, basketball background, and uh, also gave an extension to Derek Mason, a football coach, who you know, has had some positives and had some negatives. He hasn't had the success of James Franklin. Uh, on the other hand, he hasn't had players up for rape either. So, you know... And he's also, did Turner uh, make some overtures to improve the facilities at Vanderbilt? So why didn't it work out for him? Why did it only last a year? I really thought he was going to be the next big thing, because remember, the G League is going to start paying high school prospects $125,000 a year, if they're good enough, to come and bypass college basketball. In fact, a lot of people talking about the NBA, Adam Silver would like to really uh, bypass college basketball completely for his talent. He believes that, uh, well, the colleges make money off the players and uh, the players aren't really reimbursed, which there's some truth to that. So I really thought that a G League president was going to be able to possibly bridge uh, the gap, if there is one, or, you know, be able to be that uh, athletic director of the future, especially a program like Vanderbilt in the SEC, major market, all of that stuff that uh, really could have some influence. But it didn't work out that way. Now, I told you what he did right what he did wrong was Vanderbilt had a $17 million athletic surplus. And evidently, the reports are that he went through all of it in a year. And so what does that mean? The question, I think, is, is that what Vanderbilt, never all that good in football or really basketball, has to do to compete in those major sports. Now, yes, I realize it's a women's tennis power. Perhaps the best college baseball program in recent times, winning a couple of national titles and such. But right now, Candace Lee, she used to play women's basketball for the Commodores, is the athletic director of Vanderbilt. And, uh, I just got to ask this, this past season in both hoops and football, mediocre to poor seasons. That's what Vanderbilt posted up. So here's the question. Did Turner simply not get the budgets of college athletics coming from the pros? Or is Vanderbilt just not ever going to really spend the coin that they need to to win in the major sports of football and basketball. I'm Marky Bilson.